Welcome back to our channel. Today we have an epic battle brewing in the compact SUV segment. Here we have three fierce contenders, all sporting grey in colour and two in our favourite Nardo grey. Join us as we pit the 2021 Audi RSQ3 in Nardo grey against the 2020 Mercedes GLC 63S in Selenite Grey and the 2023 BMW X3 M Competition also in Nardo Grey. So let's start off with the exteriors. As you may already know, but for those who don't, these cars are the top spec upgraded versions of each individual model. Each manufacturer have taken these cars and added larger wheels, side skirts and slightly sportier bumpers, overall giving it a more aggressive look. But each car brings its own personality. The RSQ3 has a muscular and aggressive stance with Audi's signature single frame grille and sharp LED headlights. The X3M competition exudes athleticism, featuring its iconic kidney grille, sleek LED lighting and an aerodynamic design. Whereas the GLC 63S strikes a perfect balance between sportiness and elegance with its refined lines, bold front grille, it's a tough call, but aesthetics are subjective. Moving inside, the competition gets even more fierce. The RSQ3 boasts a driver-focused cockpit with high-quality materials and impeccable fit and finish. It offers a modern and tech-packed interior with Audi's virtual cockpit, a sleek infotainment system and premium comfort features. The GLC 63 greets you with a plush cabin adorned with premium materials and a well-designed dashboard. We have Apple CarPlay, Google Automotive Link, Mercedes SatNav is so clear, you simply cannot beat that. Napa leather sport seats and ambient lighting, and let's be honest, Mercedes know how to make you feel special. I certainly feel special, especially with this mood lighting, and I love a good looking seat. The X3M competition impresses with its driver's focused layout, its luxurious materials, and latest iDrive system. So we have heads up display, heated steering wheel, BMW gesture control, and you know me, anything with a panoramic roof, I'm instantly obsessed. Personally, I've always found BMW interiors very minimalistic, and it's just always worked for them. They are a driver's car, hence the gesture control. Drivers don't have time for large screens and too many buttons. All three contenders excel in this department, catering to different tastes and preferences. Despite its sporty nature, none of the cars tested compromise on its interior, comfort, and quality of materials. But now, let's talk about the part you've all been waiting for, performance. The RSQ3 packs a punch with its 2.5 litre turbocharged five cylinder engine, delivering 400 brake horsepower and 354 pound foot of torque. It sprints from naught to 60 in just 4.5 seconds, impressive for its class. Now I've always loved RSQ3s. I love how much of a compact SUV they are. I don't tend to get excited over large SUVs. I'm still in my hatch slash estate phase, but I've always fancied this car. Do I love the drive? Yes. Could it be better, more smooth? Possibly, but it gives it character and I like that. The X3M competition raises the bar even higher thanks to its three litre twin turbo inline six engine, producing a whopping 510 brake horsepower and 479 pound foot of torque. The BMW achieves a zero to 60 miles per hour in a blistering 3.8 seconds. Now the BMW does feel a lot bigger than the Audi and as previously mentioned, I do prefer smaller cars. However, the drive does feel super smooth. I feel so confident and relaxed putting my foot down that I might actually prefer it to the Audi. Lastly, the GLC 63S roars to life with a four litre twin turbo V8, generating 510 brake horsepower and 516 pound foot of torque. And it hits a naught to 60 in 3.8 seconds. Now with this car, you can feel the power. It changes gear instantly and speed kicks in. I do find with some vehicles, they can be a bit delayed, but this car wastes no time. Very rugged, I can feel the road, and some people may like that. I definitely do in some cases, especially when it's matched with this sort of power. When it comes to handling, the RSQ3 benefits from Audi's Quattro all-wheel drive system, ensuring superb grip and stability in various conditions. The X3 competition features BMW's renowned X-Drive system, known to be the best in the market. 
It offers precise handling and exceptional cornering capabilities. Now we know that this is a driver's car and I love this feature of this vehicle, but it also puts my mind at ease for long car journeys. The GLC 63S shines with its AMG tuned suspension and 4MATIC all wheel drive system, providing an engaging and dynamic driving experience. Now let's be honest, BMW is known as a driver's car, but Mercedes have produced several of the fastest cars in the world. So they obviously know what they're doing, right? As for technology, all three SUVs are well equipped, featuring advanced safety systems, connectivity options, and driver assistant features. It ultimately comes down to personal preference and the level of customization you desire. Now let's address the elephant in the room, price. The BMW X3 competition is known for its driving capabilities. Its handling experience, in my eyes, beats the other two options. And especially being in Nardo Grey, to most people, you just cannot beat it. This car is currently sitting at £74,500 at Saxton 4x4. Whereas the Mercedes GLC 63S is known for its luxurious interior, giving you a comfortable drive for those long car journeys and road trips, we have this exact vehicle up for £67,000. So tell me, would you rather choose a car for driving experience or save yourself £7,000 and choose luxury and comfort? Or have the best of both worlds, go for something a little bit in the middle and get the RSQ3. Now this vehicle is the more affordable out of the three, sitting at £56,000. However, it's a shame that Audi haven't released a more affordable version of this car, like an SQ3, and not to mention, why have we not been blessed with an RSQ5 yet? I think it's about time we see one of those on the road. Now this is definitely a tough decision to make, and personally, I would struggle to choose out of the three. I love a sport back, so if the X4 was in the equation, that would by far be my decision, but it's not. So I may just have to go for the RSQ3. I love the colour, I love the interior, and personally, I think it's an in-between of the Mercedes and BMW. So let us know in the comments below which compact SUV are you taking home. Thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe.